Hey guys, it's Cake with another homebrew installation guide. Uh, this one's pretty easy. As long as you haven't updated the new firmware, which released today or yesterday for some of you, and you're still running 10.1.0-27 or less, you're going to be able to run homebrew by just using the browser on your new 3DS. This guide is for new 3DS only. If you need to run it on 2DS or a regular 3DS, then check this video out or check in the uh, description below. If you're wondering, wondering why you'd want to do this for ha Pokemon hacking reasons, uh, I'll show, I can show you how to run PK Hex on the, using Homebrew uh, using this guide and link in the description. So just make sure if you got uh, uh, an alert to update that you don't update, at least if you want to run Homebrew for right now. And the update just came out recently, so you, you might be okay. Okay, so first thing you got to do is go to this URL on the screen, also a link in the description. All right, so as you can see here, once I've downloaded this, you have to unzip it. So it's the folder is called hacks.zip. Unzip it, and then you're gonna have a folder called hacks with a couple different files and folders in it: 3ds, save data backup, boot dot, whatever. So what you have to do is take the SD card out of your new 3DS. Now, that's a little bit tough on a new 3DS. I have a guide for, on how to do that. Link over here or in the description. Um, it's not really too tough, but there's a. I need a whole video on it because it's, it's different than regular 3DSs. Anyway, plug your SD card in and take all the files in the hacks folder that you unzipped and just drag them right over into your SD card, right in the root of your SD card, okay? And they're gonna copy on over, and then after you do that, eject your SD card, and then put it back into your new 3DS. The next thing you need to do is open up your web browser, okay? And when you're in the web browser, this is what you need to do. Put in the, go to the URL and put in poke edit, dot com slash bh for browser hacks slash new for new 3ds and this is going to redirect and then click open and this is going to redirect you to the page that prompts you to run homebrew so if this doesn't work for you then it might be because you either didn't put the files on your sd card correctly or you don't have a, a internet connection set up so remember you have to have a working internet connection and you have to be lower than the firmware that I mentioned at the beginning. If you did that correctly, it's like like you just saw me do, it's super duper easy and I'm just in homebrew now. And I have say, the pack that I linked to has save manager already installed and if you wanna know how to use that with PK Hex, check out the video at the end or in the description. And that's how to get homebrew running on a new 3DS so I hope this guide helps you and uh, if you're on a 2DS or an older 3DS check out the other video and that'll help you get that running so see ya sayonara adios amigo alligator sayonara crocodile <laughs>